Hey, in my previous video, I explained to you why everyone needs a coach. In this video, I want to share with you what are the best questions to ask yourself and your coach in order to understand whether there is a fit there or not. So let's dive deep into it right away. First of all, what are the questions that you need to ask yourself before you even go to a pre-diagnostic session with any coach in the world? First, you need to understand what is your starting point. Acknowledge the stage in life that you are at right now. What are the levels of each and every sphere of the life circle. Point number two, what is your goal? What do you want to achieve with that specific coach in that time frame? And define over here the best and the minimum satisfactory results for you. That is how you will be prepared that nothing is perfect and you know that range in between will be okay for you. The higher, the better, of course. When you understand your ideal picture of your life and define not only how your life will look like, but at the same time how you will change internally and externally, you can even draw the same circle close to the first one and identify what are the priorities of those tiers that you want to work on firstly. Then you can even identify one goal that will affect all the spheres in your life. After you have that ideal picture in your head, ideally to write it down, to draw it in your vision board, answer to yourself, how much money are you ready to invest in that dream life? Why I have to start achieving this right away? By the way, if you don't have answers to those questions, that means that you can wait until you will get those answers before starting your program with your coach. Otherwise, you will not feel devoted or do every single thing that your coach recommends you to do. Question number four, what the timeline is ideal for achieving that very dream life that you created for yourself? Question number five, do I want to have a very gentle approach or you are okay with very fast moving, sometimes even hard approach from your coach to you? Step number six is what are your values in communication and collaboration with other people. What is absolutely no go and what are you looking for? All the answers to those six questions will help you know yourself better, not only for just finding coach, but for finding a partner or an employee to your team. Those are questions, by the way, are absolutely crucial for everyone to be self-aware. So stop this video right now, write answers to all of these questions, even if you are not looking for a coach right now. And again, finding a coach, finding a right mentor in your life is like finding a partner for your life or like hiring very crucial employee in your team. It is okay to check several to find the best one for you. Don't try to find the perfect one. Sometimes it's better to start with someone, learn something in the process, then get your lessons and keep looking for your ideal version of your coach that will motivate you no matter how big excuses you have in your head. Main thing here is to believe that that person exists in the world. And step number two, of course, keep searching for your best candidate. The mindset can not be transformed within less than six months. There are lots of marketers who want to sell you the magical pill that will solve all your problems just in one month. I urge you to stop and not believe them because there are so much more sellers rather than real coaches. Check whether you have at least a tiny bit of transformation even after the first session with them. And again, recommendations work just perfectly because if that worked for your friend in 90%, that can work for you. But in order to check this, let's dive deep into to the questions what you need to ask your coach before buying their program. Question number one, does that coach has tangible results for before and after in the field of the goal that you want to achieve with that very person? Why question number two in the previous section was what is your goal that you want to achieve with that very person? Because you will not come for an advice about nutrition to a lawyer. For each and every sphere in our lives, we want to have our mentors that are experts in that very specific narrow niche because only that is how you will definitely make sure that that person will transform your life because that person is expert in that very narrow field. It is absolutely impossible to be an expert in every single field in life. So choose your goal and find the right person that will help not just you, but your goal to come true. Question number two, does that person have clients with the cases with before and after in the field that you want to achieve your goal in? Even if that person has his or her own experience in that very goal, if that person doesn't have cases of people who achieve this with him or her, that is a question if you really want to trust your life, your time and money to that person or not. Step number three, according to what you answered before, does this person align with your core values? For someone is okay to be not on time or to end meetings not within just one hour, but expand them to two hours. Know your values and check on in the first or second session with your coach whether you are aligned in your values or not. Question number four, again, 
again, according to what you've answered before, if you want soft and relaxed approach or you want hurried and fast approach, check this in the very first session because there are some coaches that can work only in one way and there will be no compatibility between you. Question number five, do you really look up to this person? Is that person really right now on that stage of life that you want to come in? If you know that you earn more money, that you are happier than your coach in front of you right now, I don't think that is the person that you want to come and work with. You need to have that gap between you. That will motivate you to come closer to that very mentor during your program. Question number six, is there trust and real connection between you? Like with partners, you have to have the connection between you. Mutual trust before you dive deep with that person completely. Yes, your relationship is confidential, but you have to have that trust to open up almost everything you have inside to that very person and be okay with that. One more thing is there are coaches that can guarantee you results. They will tell you, if you don't see any transformation, I will return your money after 30 days from the start or during the whole program with me because I know that my program is working and I can give you that guarantee. There are coaches that doesn't have that guarantee. Probably they are not experienced enough or they don't believe enough in themselves. That is only your responsibility whether you want to go with these people or not. You might even don't use this refund, but to know that in the very beginning is very, very crucial. Question number four is ask about the contract, about putting everything that you've discussed with that watch on paper. That's absolutely crucial because every time you have a relationship where money involved, either you are okay with giving away and forgetting about this money at all, or you need to have a contract with a friend if you lend them money or with a coach if you start coaching practice with them. Question number eight, what is the way to pay for your program. For some clients in some countries that is extremely important right now, so please make sure that in the very first session. Question number nine, in which time zone your coach is located? If you are in a completely different time zone and you consider in your head that you can message that person and ask for help during your day because you might have that urge to have the answer right away, that person might sleep in that time. So please make sure that you are okay with him or her living in a completely different time zone. Question number 10. Are they ready to communicate between sessions as well? And is it important for you or not? In the majority of cases, I know that coaches are more than happy to answer every single question of the client in between sessions, but you have to check this out before you start your program with them. Question number 11. Do they have a flexible approach? Or you have just a session each week? In 90% of cases, you will get bored in several months because that is our human design to have something interesting going on. So if they have flexible approach if you can meet offline and online in a hybrid. Question number 12, do you resonate with their free content or not? And do they overall have this free content or they have only paying sessions only where you can experience their coaching? Question number 13, do they have a mission or not? Once you know that they have a mission, you know that they will not just keep you with themselves and get all your money, but if they have a mission to really help people, they will train you first and only then they will be completely okay for you letting go just because they know that you are trained enough to live free and happily in the world. If you want to check if there is a feed between you and me, please sign up to my free session and we'll give it a try. Go to the very first link, hit the very first button, sign up to a free coaching session, complete a form, I will let you know what is the best time for each of us to meet and give it a try. If you are still doubting whether you need a coach or not, please watch this very video. Thanks so much for your support and for your active comments under my previous videos. I see you in that next one. Bye-bye.